Are you constantly asking your child or your student to advocate for themselves, to speak up and get help, or to get some support? You're not alone. However, it's harder than most people think because it takes some confidence to be able to step out and ask for help sometimes. It's time to get recharged, people. Hi, thanks for stopping by our channel. If you're new here, feel free to hit the subscribe button. We'd love it if you did. Not only will you get access to the content we provide, but it will also help us to grow our channel and get more content out to parents and educators who need it because on this channel, we're trying to empower, recharge, and provide information for all of you who are working with kids, including your own. So how many times do we say to kids, advocate for yourself or just ask for help? What we don't realize is how hard that is for people, adults included. So many adults never ask for help and they probably should. To paint a picture for you, I want you to remember yourself in your most challenging class in either high school, middle school, or elementary school with maybe a teacher that you found to be, oh, not very personable. Now ask yourself, would I have readily stood up and asked a question or walked up and said, hey, can you help me with this? For a lot of people, the answer to that is no. For me, I'll give you a quick example. I was a freshman in high school. I accidentally forgot my sneakers in the locker room. And because there was a gym teacher who picked them up and I didn't know him. And he was this big hulking dude, right? He looked kind of angry all the time. Instead of going in and asking for those sneakers, it took me one month to muster up enough courage to just go ask and say, hey, could I have my sneakers? Kind of silly, right? Turns out that guy was really cool, by the way. I had him a couple years later. But the fact of the matter is, it took me a month to get enough courage to do that. But what I'm getting at is, advocacy is much harder than people realize. Because you have to be confident enough to take a risk. Whatever that risk is. Asking for help, trying to get support, whatever it is. So what can we do to get kids to advocate for themselves? Well, here's an idea. You can have them do a quick simulation, role play, just kind of practice a scenario with them. They ask questions, you give responses, you pretend to be the person they're reaching out to and give them a variety of responses. And if they can't come up with a solution to it, you can spoon feed it to them. Yes, give them the answers and let them practice with those answers. Some of you may say, that seems kind of silly, practicing and role playing. But let me tell you what this comes from. If you treat your brain like a muscle and think of it in terms of you can train your brain to do certain things, like if I wanted to kick a ball with my left foot and I'm right footed, I could build enough muscle memory to practice over time and be able to complete that skill. I may not be awesome at it, but I could at least complete it. Same thing when we're talking about building confidence or in this case, asking for help. Practicing will build enough muscle memory in your brain it's for you to feel comfortable enough to step out and take that risk. So walk the child through some scenarios and build up that practice regimen. This idea stems from what we know about teaching kids social skills. A child with autism, for example, they may not know how to react in a specific social situation. So what do you do? You have them practice it. So even if your child doesn't have a disability, they can still utilize these skills. They can still help themselves by practicing. I was a soccer coach at the high school level for quite a few years, and I would tell players this all the time. I can't guarantee we're going to win, but I can guarantee we will have a better chance at success if we practice specific things and do them in a proper way. It's the same thing here. Your child or your students will feel more comfortable and feel more prepared if they practice it a little bit. The other tip I would share with you is called self-talk, self-regulation. In other words, I'm going to talk myself through a scenario. Adults do it all the time. I don't feel comfortable enough to do this. I got to talk myself through how I'm going to do it. A lot of kids don't understand that though. So instead, what they do is they think, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Instead, they should be trying to pump themselves up in their brains. And what you can do is help them realize that. The power of self-talk. We actually did a previous video on just that specific skill if you want to check it out. But you can guide them through the process of what they should be saying in their head as they regulate that conversation with themselves so that they can build themselves up or pump themselves up enough to reach out for help 
or get the support that they need. Reaching out for help is super important. We do it as adults all the time. So it's super important that we teach that skill to our kids so that they can advocate for themselves to help them have better success.